All right, today we're going to use and explain a little bit about this Waldorf technique of working with clay. Each child would be given one of these lumps like this. There's a scientific experiment. You pull off a piece, put it to the side. Each child puts their clay on the board and waits till everyone has a piece of clay. Then we begin working with what we call pancakes. So each time you do this, you can use the thumb and two fingers. <clears throat> and you take the piece of clay and you simply turn it like this, you see. And in the olden days, in Stuttgart apparently, they did this to make sure there was no rocks in the clay which they dug out of the backyard. <clears throat> Once you ripped off one piece, you put it on your board and push down with the center of your palm of the dominant hand going through the entire pile same way so today we're just using the first two fingers and the thumb laying it down and gently pressing it into a pile turning and turning like this so fast forward through all of this we're turning and making it somewhat flat, putting it on the pile, going through the whole little clump of clay that each student has been given. And some students will take a long time to do this, depending on their temperaments. And that's okay. Working with the clay is the real benefit. The actual result, not so important in the beginning. Just getting this clay and the fingers working together, standing or sitting straight, feet flat on the floor, back straight, elbows not resting on the table. There, now I have my clump of clay. And what's really a little bit important here is you take the ball and then you have them hold their palms together like that and then reach over the lump. If their fingers overlap or touch too much, they need a little bit of clay. It should just come like this, almost touching. So I need a little bit more <clears throat> clay. And now what I'm going to do is take this clay and work it with the palms of my hands. Pushing, elbows not in, the elbows are out, so that there's some pushing effort going on, pushing and turning, pushing and turning, using primarily the palms of the hands. <clears throat> All right. Then, as they're working on this, even if it's only one or two people, you pass it to the other person and take their ball and turn it, and you'll be able to feel the difference in temperature. Some people's balls become very hot. Some are ice cold. All right, so I'm just going to pause this machine right now. I can figure that out. Now, once the ball has been formed, we're going to do the threefold division. So we're pushing with our thumbs down together, and that counts as one little indentation. You can see that. Then the two forefingers reach around, like so, and they push down gently with the thumbs. So now we have the beginnings of three divisions in our sphere. Here's one, this finger, push a little more. Here's the other one, right here. So you can see two. And the third one, where the two thumbs went down, that just becomes one. So now if we can see that, we have one, two, three, three divisions. Now we're going to form this by pulling, not pinching. So I take one third of my sphere and I'm starting to lift it up like that. Then I go around to this side where the other division is and I'm, I'm laying this in my palm and I'm pulling with the thumb and the 
base of my forefinger. No pinching. So now you can see it's starting to make this shape. And then to the third one, go the same thing. So it's laying in the palm of my hand and I'm pulling. The idea is that if a drop of water was to fall on this, and this was a stone, the water would have no place to stay. It would always keep flowing off the clay. Okay, so now we've got these three beautiful forms happening. No pinching, still into the palm. Not, you see my pointer is not digging into it. I'm pulling and pulling, squeezing down in this part of my hand. So now you see this shape starting to form. I have three, three shapes starting to happen. Okay. I'm going to turn this off now. Each student has a lump of clay. They rip off one little piece, put it over here on the corner for the scientific experiment at the end of the lesson. Then ripping off a chunk of clay and today using these two fingers we're going to just flatten this out somewhat. All right. Put it down on the board. With this part of the palm of the hand you push gently on that piece of clay. Rip off another piece, and as I said before, supposing this is the second day, we could be using these two fingers and our thumb to flatten out the clay. Flattening it out only to about a half of an inch, between a half and a quarter. There's no need to spend excessive amount of time flattening these out. And as I said, it's just an exercise for the fingers. So we go through the whole lump of clay like this. Today being the second day, we're using these fingers, these two. And let's say we jump ahead and it's the third day of the lesson. So now we're using these two fingers. Oh, which is not easy. And again, push with this part of the palm third day, pushing with these guys, a little bit more difficult. And again with the palm. So now I've gone through my whole pile of clay. This is kind of a cleric way of doing it. There. At this, yes, hmm, let's see. At this point, we pick it up and do the measurement, which I showed you before. So, turn that part off now. All right, five division. Shape of the fingers are like this. Thumbs are apart now. Four fingers are reaching around, but not completely. You're going to leave a space here at the front to make that fifth division. So we push everybody down. Thumbs, four fingers. So you have indentations like this, pushing down. The fifth division will be over here. And for that, you simply roll the thumb. Now you should be able to see five. One, two, three, four, and five over here. My other forefinger. Okay, that's the beginning of the five division. And again, like we did with the three division, we're thinking always that water needs to roll off every which way. Be no gaps, no catching points. That's all flowing. Always round it off. Then the same technique, it's, it needs to go on the palm, and so you can pull and not pinch. So they start to take shape like this. All right, they turn into this one, same. Pulling, pulling.
pulling it away and up. Here, pulling away and up. Again, pulling in here, sitting on the palm, pulling away and up. Rounding it always, try to keep rounding it. <clears throat> there. So this is the beginning of the five division, which is everywhere in nature. Flowers, those connected to Venus have five division. So we could pick one aspect and without telling the children, start pulling one of these, what you're making, because it's still just clay. You start elongating one of these by pulling. And there, <clears throat> a shape starts to happen. An archetypal form that you'll see everywhere in nature. And now, as promised, it's time for the scientific experiment. We pick up that little piece of clay that we didn't touch the whole lesson. We touch it to our cheek. We pick up the piece we've worked with all lesson and touch it to our cheek. Hmm, is there a difference? Is one colder than the other? And now, at the end of the lesson, we take our little sculpted pieces, rip them into little pieces, and put them back gently in the box or in the bag. Preferably, you get a little plastic storage container from Target or Walmart and keep your clay in there. So we're pushing it on there just gently. And once that's all done, <clears throat> you take your spray bottle and where it sprays, and just spray the clay lightly, keep it wet, and that is the end. <clears throat>